So today we're going to do a profile. First thing, when you're in design mode, make sure you do the stock, make sure CPL is correct, and you find your features. Once you're done, go into manufacturer mode, make sure you have the right post and the CPL is correct, and you're ready to do a profile. A couple different ways to do this. One way would be to go to your feature finder and find the boss or the 2D pocket. You see how it turns red? Find the boss or the 2D pocket that you want to perform a profile on it and right click and choose profile. Or you can use the menu bar up here, use the profile, and you can select it right on your screen. When it asks for boundaries, say none and choose your tool. That's an eighth inch profile, so we'll use an eighth inch end mill. Actually, we'll use a ball end mill this time. We'll leave depth alone. Let's simulate it and see how it comes out. If that's what you want, you're all set. Another way to do a profile is to, let's go and check our sequences. Let's delete this profile and let's try again. Let's try a different thing. Let's, let's try to choose a 2D pocket and do a profile on that. Don't select any boundaries because a profile is just following a line. Same thing, choose the right tool. There's our sequence. And that didn't come out right at all. Let's edit our profile and see why. If you take a look in our profile, we have an XY offset. Remember that when you put in an XY offset, I did this in class earlier today, I used an offset, and if you don't want the offset, you have to make sure you get rid of it. It's something that sticks. So let's call that zero and say okay. Now let's verify it. There we go, same thing.